Good evening and welcome to WCU Esports. Tonight we have WCU Crimson taking on Grays Harbor College, Grays Harbor BSB. I'm JoJo's Mojo. And I'm Mountain Man. I mean, so far tonight, really great game coming from WCU Slate, just not in their favor, but WCU Crimson leading their division, first seed taking on, I believe this is eighth seed or seventh seed, Grays Harbor. So it should be pretty much in favor of WCU and right now it's looking like it as there is a couple of bumps on that goal line for Grays Harbor. Yeah, Western Colorado looking good this season, just coming off today playing a double header, so just coming off a victory about an hour ago. So definitely, a, and it was a 3-0 victory. So things are in favor. They have a shot off the upper post there from Sean. Almost looked like a double team. And a double team there sending it off the uprights. I mean, almost a double tap from Dilly, and then almost a rebound in from Sean onto his own net, but... Yeah, I think uh, WCU just needs to communicate a little better, stop going for these double teams. Uh, it's kind of putting them in danger, so... The other thing to think, too, is that you're... I mean, being at the spot they're at in the division, they're going to be kind of or underestimate Or no, yeah, underestimating just about everyone they play yeah, because got... they're such a high rank. And, I mean, a great pass from Thing to Sean, showing why they're at the top of the division. Absolutely great pass. I mean, this shows why they can underestimate teams. And even though it maybe wasn't the best thing to do out of the gate, a minute 15 in, we already have our first goal coming from the Mountaineers and off of a lot of great chances too. So they're just showing their dominance throughout tonight, throughout this first game. Yeah, this kickoff kind of just being up in the air. WCU trying to maintain possession, carrying it onto Gray's Harbor's side. Grace Harbor with a good pass and touch there, just off target. WCU able to knock it out. Oh, a great shot opportunity for Grace Harbor, but just high of the crossbar, it goes over, and it's a great clear from WCU. Yeah, Grace Harbor is definitely uh, looking good. They're getting lots of good centers here, just not getting the finishes quite yet. We'll see if they're able to switch that up in the late game. And... I mean, thing, just a great shot there. Great touch from Smalls as well to get that quick challenge. And WCU is a good 2-0 early lead. And I mean, that bump really just solidified the goal for thing. Yeah, WCU leads here in game one. This is a best of five series. So WCU can win three straight. It is over. Uh, WCU did that in their first round. Uh, WCU slate took it to game four into overtime so I mean a game 4 OT is something that's definitely a struggle on slate this year coming from being on slate and playing a lot of those game 4 OTs it's rough it's tough it's a battle and I mean overall though really great performance from that from that squad tonight Jolly or er, Jackie and Swish playing together but right now the team chemistry from Crimson just looking even better than earlier <laughs> with Slate, and they are just controlling this game. Yeah, they're definitely the better team by far. Nonetheless, Grays Harbor has been getting some good shots off. Just WCU is there, you know, good rotations. Definitely having someone back. Good look there from Thing, but well defended by Grays Harbor. I mean, yeah, X-Climb and Dilly there, both ready to go for the, like for that save. And it's just a great, sense of control from the WCU as they just keep it in Gray's half. They just keep rifling shot after shot, even slowing down every now and then, which is not something that we really tend to see with someone as fast as WCU Crimson. Yeah, I think definitely uh, when you have a 2-0 lead, you can definitely step off the gas slightly. You still want to play well uh, defensively, have good rotations and all that, but you don't have to be on attack mode, so... We're coming up on a minute and a half remaining in this map. WCU still up 2-0 here. And speaking of attack mode, looking at Dilly taking that shot. Sean just there inside the post to get the free clear. Smalls now making a great save. But overall, I think WCU really has that advantage of just playing patiently and knowing when to take their aggressive moments. And they're able to capitalize on them, something that Grace Harbor is really struggling to do. Yeah, I'm actually really curious to see... Uh the score report here in the end because Gray's Harbor getting a crazy amount of shots off but just none of them finding the back of the net WCU holding strong on defense and attacking well on offense. Sean had a great look over there just now for Smalls who couldn't finish it. No one there for WCU to finish something that we've seen frequently this season a good shot from Thing as it's cleared wide by X-Climb 
I mean, right now it's just looking like WCU is the better team. They know what Grays Harbor knows it, but Grays wants to try and take at least a game. At this point for Grays, it's them trying to compete for a playoff spot and even and still playoff position. Yeah, whereas WCU is looking to just hold that number one seed, so. I mean, potentially, these are two teams that we could see playing in the first round of the playoffs in uh, two weeks, I believe. Three weeks. Three weeks, yeah. Because next week, for most games, I think aside from Monday, Tuesday, so Valorant and R6, we will, in fact, have a w or an NECC spring break. So more than likely, a break for most WCU esports teams. And right now, Grace Harbor looking for a break and trying to clear it downfield, unable to do so, and it's just going to be touched down there. And that'll be game one in favor of WCU. Yeah, well played there from the Mountain Ears. Um, let's take a look at this score. Yeah, you can see uh, Grace Harbor having six shots, Mountain Ears having whew, nine. Yeah, nine shots on board thing, leading the charge with five shots there. Yeah, and only one of those shots from WCU was marked as on net and not saved. All but one shot from GHC, the same. I mean, that is just, right now, it's looking like a pretty solid battle, and you can't count Grace Harbor out yet. It is going to be a well-fought battle from both teams. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that now. I would agree. Well, here we go. Ready for game two. Both teams just ready to jump into it. Best of three series. WCU up 1-0. I mean, that's the nice thing that I like about Rocket League, is these games go fast. Best of five series. Oh, best of five. Yeah. My apologies. I'm all good, all having good. a day. <laughs> thing looking for the backward pass to Sean. Sean <laughs> with a backflip to recover to try and get the shot there. Almost able to find it. Yeah, WC is definitely attacking early here. I think what Westman really needs to do is know that they can outpace Grace Harbor. And if they do, if they even start doing that, Grace Harbor is going to be put on their heels early and... It's going to be just shot after shot for WCU. Good bump there to prevent a shot going up there. I believe that was uh, Sean looking to take that. And so um, a team pinch opportunity coming from WCU. That's what they're looking for right now. I don't imagine they're going to be trying just to get the quick, easy, we take those goals. They're trying to, they're trying to send a message. Absolutely. WCU trying to just win them in three, not have to worry about even the possibility of uh, Ray's Herbert coming back. So... Speaking of a possibility, a great shot possibility, and they will capitalize. Grace Harbor, a great solo play from Dilly to get it into the front of the net, and then just an easy lined up shot for Sleepy Kid to finish. Yeah, that's uh, definitely an assist you don't see too common, but well placed and well positioned for his team. Do or Grace Harbor going up 1 0 here, less than a minute in. I mean, that's nothing that the Mountaineers are going to be too worried about, though. I have to say, they're a really strong team. They're really fast, and they work well together. So I can't imagine that that's going to do too much to them. Thing looking just to sit there on his own for a second. No idea what was going on with that. Yeah, WCU definitely, a, I believe, one of the highest, if not the highest scoring team in their division. Um, so honestly, only having two goals in that first game was a little rare. Uh, we'll see what they can do later in this series. A little friendly fire there, unfortunately. <laughs> and yeah, as you said earlier, the communications from Crimson tonight really aren't going their way. It looks like most of them are trying to do the exact same thing. And it's just, I mean, they can't keep doing that. And that's what really allows Grace Harbor to capitalize. Dilly just being a defensive god for Grace Harbor right now. And with him gone, Thing <laughs> is able to get that shot and put the game tied one to one. Yeah, Dilly gets good save there, but both his teammates were rotating back and just unable to get up for Thing's shot. Mountaineers tied up one one. Three minutes and thirteen seconds remaining here in game two. It'll be really interesting to see too. A lot of kickoff goal opportunities for both teams. I mean. Right now it looks like it's going to be all Smalls just off the kickoff. As I said, the fish flopping everywhere. What a goal. Yeah, Smalls just kind of saw a double team <laughs> there, bounce it off, and set himself up. Dilly had no chance there, so another great goal there from the Mountaineers. I mean, that's one thing that this, just as a whole, the Mountaineer program likes to do is putting it right between two of the opposing players, finding that time and space and capitalizing on it and it's really working for Western tonight. Good demo there from Sean, making it a three on two real quick. Three on two, a great passing opportunity from Western. 
a bit of an overcommit, but not able to find anything from a back pass now from Thing. Gonna be low on boost, but Sean going up, trying to get any shot here he can, not able to do so. Smalls gets beat. But, I mean, something that you don't know when you're playing the game is how much your opponent has for boost. Absolutely. Uh, Sean playing some good defense there. Honestly, uh, really, WCU is just kind of managing this game well, I would say. And they're playing it a lot slower than what I've seen them and what I would like mm -hmm. to see them continue tonight. I think if they pick up the pace, they're really just going to crush Gray's Harbor. Um, I know that Sean has hit Grand Champ multiple times in his career, as, namely in his career as a Mountaineer, playing for this squad. He just needs to bring that pace. If he can bring his pace, I know that Smalls will follow, Thing will follow, and it'll just take out all of Grace Harbor's hope for this game. A triple commit that wasn't punished by WCU. That was an open net for quite a long time and just nothing happened. A great, honestly, pretty solid control from Thing. A little worrisome for a second as Dilly went up to challenge. But right now, Western just looking to keep in control. Play calm, cool, collected. And there's another, another double commit. Another Ooh, miscommunication. It off. Oh, it, just it almost, off the right side. <laughs> and we're going to see another double commit. Thing plays off backboard. Is anyone there? No. Strong was up very early off of getting that middle boost. And it's going to be Sean trying to play one versus three, not able to do so. Thing now gets his chance on the side. Yeah, only a one goal lead here for the Mountaineers. We're coming up on that one minute mark here. So really not, not as much of a lead as we were hoping for out of WCU. But Grace Harper is playing well, playing aggressively for sure. I mean, it looks like they're playing well. Oh, a double commit from WCU and no one can find that save. I was going to say, Grace Harper <laughs> looking good. There's just a lot of bumps on their rotation, so a lot of miscommunication on both sides tonight. I mean, a tie game this late in game two, I wasn't expecting that one. I think that I really thought WC was going to come out swinging, and they just didn't. I agree. I do think, uh, I feel like WCU kind of coming into this game more focused on playoffs rather than this specific game, but there is thing. <laughs> I mean, it's just another kickoff goal, 14 seconds. I think that's the limit for kickoff goals in terms of what is classified. But just a pass over there from Sean and Thing, able to sneak it in on the inside of that post, putting WCU up 3-2. to two. I mean, Grace Harper can't do too much to answer right now. It's just a... Oof. Oh, I mean... When WCU it was a opens, fake. It was a it fake. Was a fake. It was a tactical a fake, fake. there from uh, Thing as Smoles <laughs> comes in to, to clean it up, you know? Yeah, it's a tactical fake. It forced them <laughs> off. And, I mean, that was an entire half a net that, honestly, Smalls almost missed. Almost. But, hey, found the back of the net. A goal is a goal. Mountaineers lead by two now with 39 seconds remaining. I think WCU really coming into their kickoffs and their plans as they do find the chance to put it over to Sean. Is anyone going to be there to save it? Thing will. Oh, Sean almost had a great assist for the other team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I wish that they did account assists for other teams' goals for, <laughs> like, own goals. If they put that as a dis displayed stat, that'd be fun. But yeah. I feel like too often there's, ooh, a good look there. Good touch. <laughs> Sean follows Thing trying to block it. I feel like there's too many. And Smalls comes up and cleans it up again. Mountaineer is now up 5-2. to two, And this is what I'm used to seeing from the Mountaineers, that high-scoring... Almost domination. Yeah, and I'm not, what I can say I'm not surprised with is the triple commit coming from Grays Harbor. They're doing that a lot tonight. Should be a fairly good competition and a fairly good victory for WCU. Looks like Sleepy's going to try and pop it up as a back pass. Is Dilly going to go up? He will, but misses, and that's going to be a touchdown. They just didn't want to let you talk and finish the <laughs> thought earlier. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. Just keep putting those goals in the back of the net. I am okay <laughs> with that. I mean, looking at the scoreboard here, too, we can see that Smalls and Thing really held their own weight in that game. Dilly and, I mean, really Dilly and actually Sleepy, too, both put Sean down to that fifth position of six. But that's not really something that you need to be too worried about with Rocket League. That scoreboard isn't necessarily dictating how well you're playing with your team. I think that the scoreboard is much better for just figuring out what exactly you need to do. I would agree. And, uh, sorry, by that I should specify. <laughs> um, I do mean that the scoreboard really dictates where people are playing, but not 
how they're playing. Yeah, here we are into game three. WCU leading 2-0. Winning both games relatively comfortable. Uh, two goals in that first game and three. winning by three in the second game. So, Ooh, and Sean looking for a pinch opportunity with Thing there. Not able to find it. It does get down to Grace Harbor's corner, however, and it's just a show of control and force once again from Western. Something that this is much more like the Mountaineers that we have come to see week in and week out. Oh my gosh, Thing with a great <laughs> chance. I thought he had that one. Yeah, you definitely saw Sean playing, expecting them to get that block. Um, Speaking of getting a block, there it is. And no one's going to be back to block for WCU. Grace Harbor goes up once again in under a minute. So it's going to be interesting to see how... Oh, just a weird touch there. You can't do much about that one. No, you cannot. Let's see how the Mountaineers uh, answer. I mean, Plenty of time left on the clock. Oh, I mean, four minutes, 18 <laughs> seconds. Anything can happen. It's basically have... a full game. <laughs> yeah, it is a full game at this point. And... I mean, great aerial control from Dilly, and I think that what Grace Harbor is doing right now is showing the Mountaineers that they're not wanting to back down, they're not willing to back down. Oh my gosh, Sean looking to pop that into Smalls for a shot thing now, controlling it, putting it towards net. Looking for a pass, not able to do so. Sean gets a pass, is there going to be anyone to follow up? No. I mean, Grace Harbor doing well on defense there. WCU just, just missing the spot you want to place it for assist wcu back on the attack now i mean the pass up from thing a tactical fake there from sean smalls now tries to get the center it's going to be over towards sean sean puts it on net but it's going to be a free save and another miscommunication of double commit coming from western right now i think that grace harbor is really capitalized on knowing that wcu can miscommunication and I mean, or miscommunicate, and right now WCU just not having an answer. They have the speed, they just don't have the positioning is what it's looking like. Yeah, Rock League is definitely a game where you are going to see double commits no matter how good the communication is. It's just a fast-paced game, so every once in a while, I understand it. WCU, though, doing it quite a bit this series, so it's a little troubling, but still, with that 2-0 lead... I mean, a great block there from Thing, and that's a great double commit. I mean, as you said, they happen at every level, they happen everywhere, and there's times and places for them, and right now it's looking like Thing could have used a double commit from <laughs> his teammates to finish that shot. Ooh, a great pass. Oh. Unable to get that shot off, though. You know, it looks like Western's trying to go for the more stylish goals once again. <laughs> they're feeling very comfortable, and I can, I can just tell that from looking at this. Even though they're down 1-0, there's two and a half minutes left. That's still a lot of game time. It's a free... Pass. Dilly's going to control it. Back to his corner. Thing going to steal that boost, forcing Grace Harbor to play low. Looks like there was a demo chase from Sean trying to get rid of one of the goalies, unable to do so. Very clang up from Thing, and no one from Weston's up there to control that, but Sean just hits it downfield. Thing gets a shot chance, not able to capitalize. It's just there's. They, he can't seem to avoid the posts right now. Yeah, that's kind of been uh, just WCU's problem, at least this game so far, and Grace Harbor still holding that lead. I mean, a good pop wide from Sleepy there, but it's going to be a free clear for Thing, and it's going to be just past the top of X-Climb. Small's going to put it, trying to find that bottom left corner, unable to do so, flips himself into the net. It's going to be a center now. Is there going to be a follow-up from Thing? There will, but not quite able to put it on net once again. WCU honestly just maintaining control here, keeping the ball in Grays Harbor's side of the field. I'd say 80 plus percent of the time. Grays Harbor going off that backboard looking oh, for a shot. Great save from Thing. I mean, risky, but great. <laughs> if you know what you're doing, which definitely that looks like true. he does, that was a really well controlled play and really put Grays Harbor back. Now it's going to be Dilly on his own once again in the backfield. Trying, I mean, Dilly's looking very confident in the air. Loses all of, or uses all of his boost to try and push it down, and now Smalls has a chance to put it towards net, and it's just going to be a bulldozer shot. Puts the game tied. It took WCU three and a half minutes to answer goal one by GHC. Yeah, definitely a little struggle there, but honestly, I mean, having an open net there. That would have been a disappointing miss for the Mountaineers. They tie it up the 1-1 with 52 seconds remaining here in game three. For now, though, it looks like Grace Harbor going to try and get a chance. 
they just can't finish it well enough. And when they do put it on net, someone is there. Sean just getting back into that defensive positioning really well. Oh, and Smalls puts it into the wrong net. Just that was just an unlucky touch there from who's in that corner. Thing, thing. a good double tap, and just unfortunate bounce off of Smalls. Yeah, a great, a great block from Dilly, and it just went straight over to the net. Smalls not quite expecting it, and was too far outside of the net. Yes. Had to go for something, but... So the Mountaineers will have 30 seconds to try and tie this up and hopefully send it into overtime. I mean, again, I think Grace Harbor just has the speed that WC wasn't expecting right now. Speaking of speed, they weren't expecting. Looking at Thing coming in, tries to get the center, not able to do so. It's going to be controlled wide by Dilly. Dilly loving playing on that left wall. 10 seconds remaining. Be a center towards net. I mean, they need the shot here. Oh, it's gonna be kept up. Thing gets the boost. It's gonna be cleared wide. Sean and Smalls get the commit off. This thing gonna be up for the rebound. No, Grace Harbor takes a game. I think that's what their main goal was tonight. And Western, that's I'm surprised. Yeah, well played there from Grace Harbor. Honestly, I think WCU just thought they were gonna. Take this series 3-0, a little too confident going in, and well played there from uh, Grays Harbor. Yeah, they came out, and WCU just wasn't expecting it. A much lower scoring game than we've seen just in general from WCU. Two assists in total on Western side, or two saves on Western side, six from Grays Harbor, four of which coming from Dilly, who is just topping the scoreboard for Grays Harbor. Yeah, WCU still had, uh, what was that, I believe... Eight shots on goal, so. A lot of shots on net, just none could find the back. WCU now down, or now still up in the series, but I think they're just worried. They're I feel probably... pretty confident that uh, that game will kind of have WCU just focus a little harder, regain their composure, and I think they can close it out here in game four. I mean, absolutely they can, and I know we've seen this time and time again from Weston's Crimson team, where even though they have a game like that, they come out swinging next, and right now they're just very low on boost as a whole. Great play from Sean, though, running out of boost when he flipped there, but gets a good center opportunity for Western, but not enough for someone to finish. It's going to be a clear down from... S GHC it looks like Grace Harbor just got the momentum they needed, and they're going to be keep, they're going to continue playing fast. Yeah, Another definitely. Uh, winning a series in against the number one seed can definitely boost your confidence, and if they can maintain that momentum, it could be difficult for WCU to close out this match. Right now, I think the key thing for Western is get a goal here early. If they can get a nice shot from Smalls, maybe anyone at this point to put it in the back of the oh. net. <laughs> Thing hitting the post once again. It's just all pipes from him today. <laughs> but I think if Western can get one good solid goal at the start here, they'll be fine just to roll for the rest of this series because that will be the end of it. But Some good handling by Thing. He pops it up, unable to finish there. Sean comes flying in. I mean, Sean was looking for a weird backwards redirect, which is one of the harder shots to pull off, and it's one of those where you have to practice the consistency for it. He almost hits it though. It's going to be a clang up from Dilly now into the western side once again. And it's going to be a pop-up from Sean as he looks to follow it up himself, playing it on his own. I think that's something that else that we haven't seen too much tonight that I would like to see more of from Crimson. The solo plays. They've done that a lot in the past few weeks, and that's really led to their success because they've had someone be able to finish second and be confident going up that far. But tonight... Not a lot of solo work. Yeah, definitely a lot of team passing, which I do like to see, but they're just not getting quite the right angles. GFU playing pretty solid defense in that realm. But definitely if the Mountaineers can uh, have an opportunity, might see Thing going for a solo play here. Oh, oh and Small comes in, gets a block. <laughs> Great shot. Yeah. I mean, didn't register as a shot on that, but right here, Gets the pinch, and it gets a phantom touch off of GHC. All thing to Smalls, though. That was a great passing play, and that's something that I think that we don't see tonight with Wooby not being here is as much of the on-target passing. Yeah. We see a lot of great passes and pass opportunities, but not to the space where Western needs them. Yeah, throughout the semester, we've seen uh, 
Whoopi and Sean find a lot of great connections, so definitely missing that element here, but all three of these WCU players are great players and can definitely carry their own here, so. They can carry their own weight. It's just interesting to see how they've meshed together, and I think that Whoopi had a little bit more chemistry than Thing does right now, having just played a bit more, but Thing's still carrying his own weight and pushing his team towards victory as he tries to get back in time to make get a clear there, not able to do so. And Sean's going to get a good clear. And he's going to chase it down, but it's going to get blocked back. I think right now the main thing is that WCU is really getting a lot of good opportunities, as you said, but they're just not, as I've been saying, they're just not finishing them. Yeah, at this point in the game, it's kind of just going back and forth. I want to say any team is really controlling it right now. WCU with that 1-0 advantage coming up on a minute and a half remaining. So Grays Harbor is definitely probably starting to stress a little bit, but we'll see how WCU can hold them out for this final minute and a half. Oh, I mean, Sean with the flick there. Great save from Sleepy Kid, though. Didn't even see him come back. I mean, you can't do much else there, but... Oh, a great shot from Thing, too, as he sends it the length of the field. Looks like, though, WCU is playing Grace Harbor's game, and Grace Harbor's not forced into playing theirs, but a great pass from Sean over to Thing. WCU up now 2-0. This isn't an impossible comeback, but the momentum that Western is gaining is going to make it seem like that. Yeah, the Mountaineers are definitely starting to figure it out on offense, getting a lot better centers, a lot more on-target shot attempts. A couple great saves are from Grace Harbor, but Mountaineers now leading 2-0 and possibly two to one as Dilly comes in. A great save from Sean though, as he gets back in time off of that kickoff. Now a clear up from Thing, looking for Sean to keep going forward, who doesn't actually switches back, but Sean goes for a dunk. It's gonna be a follow up from Thing. Pop up, is there gonna be a shot coming from Smalls in a second? Maybe. I think Smalls backed off, seeing two Grays Harbors players going up there. WCU keeps getting these looks though. Grays Harbor unable to answer. WCU's offense and right now WCU once again going back to look for those passes and I mean they're putting them in the right places just no one's ready for them to come through and be a good shot chance so I think the main thing for Western to take away from tonight is be ready for those passes to work oh my gosh this thing almost capitalizes on a pass from I believe that was Smalls Sean now looking to try and put it on there onto Grays Harbor's net and this is an impossible comeback for Grays Western going to try and get one more goal. They do an own goal coming from Grays Harbor BSB, and that will be what finishes out the night. I mean, I don't think there's going to be a kickoff goal here. I think it's going to be a, it's just going to hit the ground and game's going to be over. But WCU will end up taking the series three to one. Now, honestly, uh, coming in as a lower seed, Grays Harbor played well. Honestly, I just don't think the Mountaineers were on tonight, but still walking away with a. 3-1 victory. Oh my gosh, and WC looking for another goal. They do find it. It'll be 4-0 to zero to finish out the night. That's, I gotta say, that's a little rude. <laughs> Just keeping it up that long after it's already 3-0. It's the last game in the series. A little bit rude, but I mean, a good series coming from both teams. Grace Harbor definitely knew they were playing against a better team, and they played like they were playing against a better team. WCU just, they honestly looked at it as if they were playing a worse team, and they played like it. I would agree, but nonetheless, WCU holding that number one seed in the division. And, yeah, I'm excited to see how they do in playoffs. Yeah, I think that, I'm not going to say that it guarantees that they take number one seed this game, but I do think that it's going to it's gonna put them in a much better spot to be that number one seed. They only have one week left, and that'll come on the 14th of April, not on the 7th. But. Yeah, well, that'll wrap it up here for WCU Esports. WCU Crimson winning 3-1 to one over Grays Harbor BSB. I'm Mountain Man. And I'm JoJo's Mojo. Have a good night.